When we're working with temperatures high enough to boil water or sear a steak, we want to make sure the only thing getting cooked is the food. And for many people, that is one of the biggest reasons for switching to induction. Welcome back everybody to Boulevard Home, where we are going to continue our series on induction cooking. What it is, and if it's right for you, if you haven't already watched our last video on what induction is and how it works, make sure you go check it out. Today we will be discussing the pros and cons of induction cooking, as well as comparing it to the two most popular types of stoves, gas and electric. One of the most obvious benefits and perhaps one of the biggest reasons people are making the switch to induction, the responsiveness. Remember, induction stoves utilize magnetic fields to generate heat from directly inside your pan itself, which means they heat up almost immediately and cool down just as fast because they are not relying on the radiant heat that you find coming from gas and electric stoves. While gas stoves rival induction stoves in terms of responsiveness, induction allows you to be more precise with the level of heat that you are seeking. While electric stoves take ages to heat up and cool down, and gas stoves rely on a flame that can be finicky, induction stoves allow you to select and maintain the exact level of current you desire. Because the heat from induction cooking is generated within the cookware itself, rather than from open flame or electric heating element, this also means that you don't need to dread cooking in a sweltering kitchen anymore. There's no energy wasted and no heat escaping, turning it into an unwanted sauna. You can even stop worrying about accidentally burning yourself or anything else on hot coils or flames. The only spicy object will be the pan and any residual heat in the surface it is sitting on. In fact, you could turn it on to the highest setting and without a magnetic pan placed on top, the surface would not get hot at all. For those of us with curious children, this eliminates the worry of them burning themselves, making induction by far the safest option to cook with. However, certain methods of cooking are off the table when using induction. For example, if you're someone who just cannot live without crisping up tortillas over the open flame, or you need to constantly be removing a pan from the element, induction might not be for you. With gas stoves, you may also be concerned with unwanted toxic fumes being released into your home. Some studies have shown that chemicals such is benzene, a known carcinogen, and nitrogen dioxide, which may be linked to asthma development, may build to unhealthy levels when using gas stove without the proper ventilation. There, what is key is proper ventilation. While these claims have been very controversial within the industry, it's something to at least think about. With an induction stove, you need not worry about fumes of any sort being emitted. However, that doesn't mean there are no health risks to consider. Because of the strong magnetic field generated by these stoves, those with medical devices subject to interference, such as pacemakers, may want to take that into account before using an induction cooktop, though it's not guaranteed to cause any issues. One drawback of this lack of radiant heat is that only the areas of the pan that are directly above the element will get hot. With gas and electric stoves, the heat can spread into the rest of the pan due to heat transfer. But because induction heats up the pan from within, only the sections being activated will become hot. For example, a nine inch pan being used on a six inch element will only heat up six inches across the pan. For an even cook, you need to make sure you use pans that match the size of your burners. However, some induction stoves have bridging that allows you to activate and connect more than one burner, which is handy when you need to use longer, oversized cookware such as griddles. Some even will detect where your pan is and activate it wherever you place it on top of that cooktop. One of the major drawbacks preventing people from switching is that only magnetic cookware is compatible, meaning some may need to ditch their old pans and buy new ones. Those who buy cheaper cookware may also find that cooking on their new induction stove can be noisy. This is because cheaper cookware often consists of layered composite material that can produce vibrating or even humming noises when activated by the magnetic current and might be enough to turn consumers off of induction entirely. But you'll find this is less of an issue for those with quality cookware. Something many of you may like to consider when choosing between stove stops is energy efficiency, cost to run, and how green they are on the environment. While there are many variables that might be a factor into cost to run, such as how expensive electricity is compared to gas in your area, induction stoves are by far the most energy efficient and eco-friendly. Gas stoves lose more than half of their energy as heat escapes along the sides of the pots and pans, and they also bear the heaviest carbon footprint. Electric stoves are more environmentally friendly than gas, but are also known as less efficient options than induction. Now what about cleaning? 
When using the cooktop, one thing you'll notice is that like many electric stoves, induction uses a completely flat glass surface. This makes cleaning up an absolute breeze as compared to gas, where spillovers often get everywhere and you have to disassemble the burners to truly wipe them down. With induction, you can easily wipe up any spills on a relatively cool surface without the risk of burning yourself. And because the cooktop itself does not heat up, you won't have to worry about food baking itself onto the glass and becoming impossible to remove. Just remember to wipe away any messes before they dry. However, what this glass surface also presents is the risk of scratching, cracking, or even shattering. While this may not be such a worry with the gas stove, you need to remember to be extra gentle with your induction stove. Keep from placing pots and pans down roughly and be mindful how you move them around the surface. If you do manage to break the cooktop, you could be looking at a costly replacement. But perhaps the biggest thing about induction that might prevent someone from switching over is a hefty price tag. A quality induction range is typically more expensive than a gas or electric range of that same quality, sometimes by a lot. But you can also buy single element portable induction cookers for those looking to try it out before purchasing an entire range or cooktop. So there you have it, a comprehensive look at some of the pros and cons of induction cooking and how it might compare to gas and electric. We hope you learned something helpful and if not, let us know in the comments what questions you have and and we'd love to answer them for you. Thanks for checking in with Boulevard Home. We'll see you next time when we go over if switching to induction is right for you.